Hi guys, my name is Michelle and I create hair, makeup and lifestyle content here on YouTube. Today I'm going to be talking about how to pin curl your hair. This video is going to show you how you can train your clumps. Just like girls have memory, well so do clumps and with a little help if you have stringy clumps, then during the rest of the week, when it's not day one, you could help to train your clumps to become a little thicker and a little more juicy. So if you want to see how to train your clumps by pin curling, then keep watching. This is my day two hair. I upside down styled my hair and this is what my hair is looking like today. That video of how I upside down styled my hair should be up here. So check that out if you haven't already and then come back here. All right. So upside down styling is a really nice way to style your hair. But the biggest problem that I have with upside down styling is that every single curl clump is not the same size. And if you've noticed that your curl clumps are not all the same size and you want to rectify that, but your curls are already clumping a particular way and you feel like no matter what you try, even if you change your comb. So let's say you go from a comb that is like this to a comb that is slightly wider and you're still having problems, but you still want some thicker clumps. Then this technique that I'm going to show you today is going to help. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pin curl my hair. So I'm going to select certain sections of my hair that I'm not very happy with and I'm going to attempt to clump them a different way. This is another form of curl training. So first I'm going to take my hair and I'm going to assess the situation. So if you look at these clumps in front, these are pretty thin. I'm okay with them but Let's just say that I want to take these one, two, three, four, five, six, six clumps and convert them to two. This is what I would typically do. For now, I'm going to move the rest of the hair away using a scrunchie. And I want these two sections to form two separate distinct curl clumps. Now, before you start doing anything, take your curls and look at the direction in which they are going. So you will notice that your hair either goes this way, in this direction or in that direction. When I'm looking at these curls, if I just take my finger and I place it anywhere in the clump and then I attempt to move down the hair, I will know exactly which direction my clumps are going in. It is very important to assess this before you get your hair wet because it is just much simpler when it's dry. I'm using pin clips today. So I'm just going to move this out of the way for now and I'm going to start with this section it doesn't have to be super wet don't worry about that make sure you have enough water so that the hair clumps together we're not going to attempt to detangle any of this what I'm doing is I'm just smoothing the hair down now when you're running your fingers through your hair ask yourself does this feel like it has enough product? If you feel like there isn't enough product in it, then by all means go in with some product. I'm using the Fix My Curls Curl Quenching Hair Butter. I just received this product. It's the first time I'm going to use this. So I'm going to tread with caution. I'm going to use a tiny, tiny bit and then add if I feel like I need more. Remember, this is just one clump, so. I'm going to smooth the hair down. Then after that, I'm going to take a very, very generous helping of gel. And for gel, I'm using the Enliven gel, the orange one, which is the keratin variant. I'm just going to slap that gel on top of the hair. 
and I'm using extra gel because I want this to set in place when it dries. I also want the hair to clump together, which is why I'm being super generous with the gel. Now, do you remember I was telling you guys about assessing which direction your hair is going in, whether it's going in this direction or that direction. So I had figured out that my hair on this side or rather this clump goes in this direction. Now, if you have smaller curls, then I would say use one finger. But since, as you can see, my curls are much looser, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two fingers. If you have smaller curls, use one finger. I'm taking my fingers and I'm placing the hair at the base of my fingers. And now, since I realize that my hair is going in this direction, can you see? I'm twisting in this direction, going outwards. Now, remember, don't wrap your hair so tight that you can't pull it out of the finger. So, yeah, I'm just very slowly, very delicately pulling the hair out. Can you see what's happened? I've created a pin curl. Now, for the purposes of this video, I'm going to use these other clips. But I know a lot of you don't have root clips at home. So, you might have tic-tac clips. So, let me just show you a few curls with tic-tac clips. I'm going to take the pin curl, I'm going to push it to the base. Can you see what I'm talking about? Then I'm going to take this. Push it down the curl. Right? And then just clip. Can you see what I did there? Now let's just take the hair out. Assess the situation. Okay, I feel this much hair is good for our second clump. Moving the rest of the hair out of the way. Man, my roots have already grown. Okay, I'm not spraying in this direction. You can see what I'm doing because my camera is right there. When you're getting the hair wet, avoid the roots because that way it will just dry faster. Okay, let me run through the instructions again. Get your hair wet enough. It doesn't have to be sopping wet, but just remember that hair clumps together better when it is sopping wet. So, assess the situation, get the hair wet. I'm dangerously close to my camera and my mic, so I'm going to be careful about this. Look, it's wet enough, the hair is clumping together. I'm avoiding the roots because I want all of this to dry really quick. I'm going to take my fingers and I'm going to run it down the shaft of my hair to see if it feels like it has product in it. If it does, then just go in with the gel. I have high porosity hair, which means that my hair dries out really quick. So yes, I know it's day two, but my hair is definitely lacking some moisture. So I'm just going in with a tiny bit of product. So yeah, take the gel. A large helping of it. I'm not going to be shy at all. At all, at all, at all. You can twist the hair if you want. Twist as in just do this, okay? If you've gone in the wrong direction when you twist your hair, twist your hair meaning when you just roll your hair up like this. If you've gone in the wrong direction, then you'll notice that instantly your hair is trying to fight back. But if your hair is not fighting back and you feel like you're twisting, and yeah, it is definitely going in this direction, it is not resisting, the direction that you've picked for your pin curls are correct and it's going with your hair. So yeah, I take my hair, okay, I, I start it at the base of my finger. My fingers always like this because it's just easier instead of me going like this. So yeah, we're not trying to fight gravity here. Pesky fly away. I've loosely been curled it around my finger. Here you go. I'm gonna take this clip because it's just easier. And especially when my fingers are so filled with product and so slippery and slimy, it just seems easier to use these clips. Oh man, so much gel. Fine, if 
forget it. I'll just use the tic tac clip. Taking the tic tac clip, going down. and pinning. Let's assess the rest of my hair. What is happening? Mm, I think I should go in front of a mirror. Okay, this section looks pretty stringy to me. Look at that, the clumps are not defined. This is my problem with upside down styling. No matter what you do, it's really difficult if you're not using it is really difficult to get all the clumps the same size so yeah I'm just going to take that much that section and now again I'm just gonna run my fingers down the hair to see the direction this is going in this direction can you see what I'm talking about if I take my finger and I run down the shaft of my hair. My hair is going this way. So I'll need to pin it in this way. Get enough water in it so that it clumps together. No need to detangle. Don't even attempt to detangle. Yep, good enough. Run your fingers down. See if it has enough product in it. that much don't go overboard with the product because the more product you put in your hair the more time it's gonna take to dry what you can be generous with is your styler so the product that is giving you hold because remember you're trying to rectify a situation Okay, so this is going in this direction, right? So again, I'm gonna take two fingers because I have larger curls. I'm gonna take this at the base and just twist in that direction. Okay, hang on. I think I should do this slower so that you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna take this hair. I'm gonna take my fingers. I'm gonna place it at the base or rather at the root I'm gonna take so remember this area of your fingers okay the base or rather the root of your fingers go to the root of your hair okay your fingers are facing a downward direction even if you're using curling tongs right whenever you take your tongs don't ever place the tongs horizontally that is why you have wonky curls when you're curling your hair with curling tongs always keep the tongs in a vertical position that way you'll have perfect curls every time take your fingers place it at the base of your hair and since we're going in this direction okay i'm going to take the hair and move it in that direction okay i'm going to be very loose so that it's easy for me to get the hair hang on can you guys see for me to get the hair out of my finger without causing too much frizz and too much of a mess i'm taking my tic tac clip i'm pushing it into the pin curl push down and then i'm clipping okay so quite a few stringy clumps here, got it wet so that it clumps together, just smoothing it down a tiny bit, then I'm gonna twist in the same direction, taking some leave-in conditioner. If you have a really good mousse, mousses dry faster, gel, so yeah if you have a really good mousse and you want to try your pin curls with a mousse you can absolutely do that in fact your hair will dry faster because if you're following CGM 
then for sure you have some leave-in conditioner and for sure you have some tic tac clips at home and you definitely have gel at home if you don't have gel make yourself a flaxseed gel or an aloe vera gel it is simple enough if you want a video let me know and i will make one so yeah okay i took the hair and i twisted in this direction as you can see my hair is not trying to resist the twist that i made okay then i take my fingers the base goes to the root and then very very loosely i twist my hair around both of my fingers i take the hair i hold it i release them then i take the clip and just pin the curl hopefully this makes it easier for you to see okay so the rest of my hair looks pretty okay for day 2 i'm just going to take this section here because i mean although the clump is fine it's not such a bad clump In case I haven't mentioned this in the video, please don't try to pin curl all of your hair in one day. Don't do that. Think of this as a form of clump training and every day when you're back from work and you have a little spare time and tell yourself that today I'm going to correct four curl clumps. So keep doing that so that it doesn't feel like so much effort that you never do this. because i've had so much success with this it has really helped my clumps form much 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 better just like curls have memory i think you'll agree that clumps also have memory so take your time do this it is definitely worth the time that you spend doing this but don't get overwhelmed just do it a little at a time so yeah like i said every day tell yourself that today i'm going to correct four curl clumps it becomes easier all right anyway I'm going to wait for all of this to dry and then I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back. It's been 30 minutes and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start dropping the curls. You don't want it to dry completely, otherwise you will have very wonky curls. And they'll be too curly and they won't match your curl pattern. So don't let the gel dry completely. Okay, so as you can see, I've formed some really pretty clumps. and the ringlets are looking really pretty i'm going to try my best not to touch these and i'm going to wait for them to air dry completely and then i'll be back to show you the finished look or rather what my hair looks like when it's completely done okay so my hair is dry now let me just crunch out the crunch and then let's talk All right, so this is what my hair looks like post a good fluff. As you can see, my clumps are much thicker than what they were when I started, and I'm pretty happy with it. I feel like this is a very good technique to use if you want to train your clumps to become a little thicker. Now look, if you want all of your clumps to be the same size, then I would say style upright with a white tooth comb and you'll notice that every single clump will be the same size. But if you're upside down styling and you want a little help because your clumps have become too stringy, then this technique should help you and hopefully this video gave you some value. If it did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, follow me on Instagram. and subscribe if you haven't already all right guys thanks for watching my name is michelle and i'll see you in the next one bye